Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video I want to do a new test. So, on the right we've got an iMac 2013 model with an i5 4 core processor with 32GB of RAM. And I also, on the left, um, I'll have a Mac Pro uh, 2009 with 12 cores, a Xeon X5670 uh, processor. Um, with 24 threads and we're going to see how quicker it is versus an iMac now you've seen me do a test on Final Cut Pro where, where the iMac beats the um, Mac Pro for its single processor speed of 3.4 gigahertz versus 2.9 um, but that 12 cores does come um, beneficial so Without a further ado, let's have a look at Cinebench 15. Let's do a multi-core test and let's see how quick Cinebench actually operates. Um, you know, so we've got four cores versus twelve in effect. But the iMac is an i5 and the Mac Pro is a Xeon, but there is two two processors there with tw so twelve cores in total. So without a further ado, let's get on with this. Cinebench test and let's see how they do. So just so you can see there in the video, uh, we can see the specs on the left is 2 times 2.93 gigahertz 6 core Intel Xeon with 32 gigabyte of RAM running at 1333 and on the right is the iMac 3.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5 uh, 24 gigabyte RAM running at 16 megahertz, 1600 megahertz. So, without a further ado, let's run the test and let's see how quicker the Mac Pro can be. So, let's just start this. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Just to let you know that the uh, iMac has a standard 5200 RPM hard drive and the Mac Pro has an SSD uh, crucial drive in there uh, which is 1 terabyte. So we've got two hard drives at 1 terabyte in capacity and uh, let's just see how the test goes. So in that test already the uh, Mac Pro has certainly beat the iMac. Um, if you are interested, check out the other video where I compared the render and export speeds on Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X, depending on which way you say it. Um, and you'll find out the iMac is a bit quicker. So I think what it is is the single core uh, speeds uh, of the actual iMac is pretty much faster than the Mac Pro. But when you combine 12 processors versus 4 um, in terms of cores, sorry, um, as well as 2 processors versus 1 processor, uh, you'll find that the more cores and the more processors certainly is faster. So there you go, the iMac has finished and significantly longer time. 